Fátima, Fátima. Okay, so finished up. Didn't really touch the stove. It's pretty gross, but I don't feel like dealing with it today. But anyway, got permission to get rid of some things. Um, so yeah. So we got these plates for our wedding, and you know we already had a whole thing, and the noise that these make um, is kind of annoying when you're eating, like the scratching noise, and. Um, yeah, we're only gonna keep a couple of them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest this here. So we have four mugs, which I was tempted to keep one because they really are pretty, but we already have a lot of mugs. So I 
it's fine. And I was kind of like having them on quarantine, quarantining them or whatever, having them up here. And it's like, you don't really miss them, honestly. Um, these bowls are like pretty small. Um, I like bigger bowls or like those flatter bowls, which I'll show you. We are, however, going to keep these little ones. So I'm only going to keep two for our cats. Because I actually was going to buy flat plates for them anyway. Um, and I'm actually probably going to keep our cat plates at the top. So we didn't have the spot for them. And then these big ass plates. So we'll keep the less scratched ones. I mean, they're all kind of scratched up. See, that's why I don't want to. The color is really pretty. Just, yeah. And then we also have these for cats. And then we have another blue one that's in use now. But now I'm like, maybe I should keep these other two. Okay, I'll leave them up there. Actually, no. We'll just do those two. And then I am going to keep these. I have um, two other ones that are in use. One in the bathroom, one in my... Nightstand, also nightstand one maybe I'll use. Um, but I do like these, so I'm keeping those. That's pretty much it. And then the other thing I'm getting rid of. I'm to slam it. Oh, I guess this. This was uh, from a plant, but I put it in a bigger pot. And it's still pretty cool, so I'm just going to donate this. Um, anyway, my aunt gave me um, these cups. And she actually gave me like these plates, these plates, and those plates. So I was feeling kind of bad because she gifted them to me. Um, they weren't like brand new, but it was still, still a nice gesture. I'm not saying that. But anyway. They are very beautiful, but I personally don't like drinking for them, from them, so I'm going to get rid of two of them, and I'm going to take three. Um, and the other thing I don't like is that um, it just doesn't... It just seems crowded now, especially since we got these two. These were also a Christmas present from someone. But I actually do like using them sometimes because they come with a little straw. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna decide three from this bunch and then I'll, I'll come back because I wanna like look at them and decide. Okay, so now it's like in twos and it bothers me less. I don't know. I feel like maybe we still have too much. I think it's like usually we, when we drink stuff, it's either soda, tea, or coffee. So we don't really need that many cups anyway, but. Anyway, so up here, oh, actually, I want to get rid of this one too. This also came with the dish set. And then, like, I like these bowls way better. And then here we have two in each. And then here we have four, we broke one. So now we have three. So they stack up. Those are also gifts, so I'm okay with keeping those actually. Um, and then, yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff and I guess I'll show you the pile that we have going. This is the pile that we have started. I'll have to move some around to put the rest of this up. Okay, get those off.
All right, so I got rid of a few items of clothing. And then one of the searches we went to wasn't accepting glass. Valentine's Day plan. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna look because I feel embarrassed. Okay, so I made these chocolate things. I made these chocolates. Um, hashtag um, anime inspired. Um, I feel kind of embarrassed, but anyway. <laughs> and also technically, I just melted the chocolate. I didn't add anything else. I didn't add more milk or. Uh, walnuts or anything, you know, and then I made them because I was already Because I made brownies like a while ago Well, a week ago. Oh, it's almost gone. Anyway, so I made these brownies from scratch um, I trusted the guy and They are actually it's, it's actually good, but I had to keep putting on more and more time and I was scared I was gonna make them hard because other times where I make them from the box, I end up making them too hard. And I think the main reason was that I was using like different um, shaped containers. Um, and this one was like exactly what he said. It was a glass, so maybe that's also why I didn't add more time. I don't know. But anyway, the middle was a little too gooey though. So maybe I should put it back in the oven the muffins but I think I'm just gonna leave it anyway moral of the story and I guess the other reason why I made these little chicks is because I had those molds for 20,000 years and then I bought another mold and I was like Jen why are you buying molds if like you don't even use them because um they're meant to be for jello I mean you could use them for anything but anyway it anyway, so I made three of these and then I had cut up like two brownie pieces just to fill it up more because this container is like a little large. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, I had wanted to make chocolate chip cookies because uh, my husband really likes them, but they're a lot of work. And not only like with all the ingredients, but also with the cleanup. And I feel like chocolate chip cookies, I haven't mastered that yet. so. Hey! My cat's always trying to get into the floor. 
anyway, point is I'm gonna make muffins, but they're not from scratch. But I have made these like two, three times already, and honestly, the magic is the chocolate chip cook. What the chocolate chips? Because it like I don't know. It just helps with the moisture. Because one of the times that I made it, I put them just on top because I forgot about them, and then the bottom was kind of dry. So the chocolate chips really do help. Um, so, oh yeah, I also was gonna cut my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I'm also gonna cut my hair. Like, I don't know. I almost did cut it like the other day because. I don't know, I guess I've always heard that like you just people do it with breakdowns or whatever, but like I like I can't untangle my hair. Um so I I feel like I'm just gonna cut it and I, I saw pictures of myself when I had shorter hair and I was like, well I look kinda cute but and I've been seeing people with short hair that look cute too, so I'm like also might not have it and I'll just go like here because I kind of the only thing I hated about having short hair is that like I couldn't put my hair up because shit would like fall off I shouldn't say shit um yeah anyway I've been hiding this in the fridge for like I think it's been a week has it been a week actually it's only been it's been less than that I don't even remember when I made those brownies honestly it's been less than a week but anyway, Preppy Kitchen, it's really good. Um, I made cookies from his recipes too. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and now I'm gonna do the whole like fast mode. have the setup ready I'm kind of scared like I'm like am I being over dramatic but then I mean it's both I feel like I need to change but also the whole not being able to untangle my hair um but now I'm like maybe I should start shorter I don't know Kind of work my way up. Okay, now maybe I just cut a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's just try this first and then I'll like figure it out. Alright. 
like, do we want more? Are we ready for more or not? Nah? Okay, fuck it. Let's just go shorter. Okay. Though, I guess the main reason I said that I still wanted to have my hair up, obviously that's still good, but... feel shorter but it doesn't feel like super short and I actually really like it tucked like this but um I, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now I'm sorry I'm thinking about it too much but um, I don't know There's like this very long piece <laughs> that I'll figure it out later, but okay. I mean, I feel cute, so I mean, that's a good sign. Oh, the muffins. All right, so I picked out the pretty ones. Um, these are the rest. I honestly should have put chocolate chips on top, but I had already forgotten to add the chocolate chips, and then I did it afterward, and then I had already put way too much, so I just left them like that. Anyway, and then the top is this. I'm gonna put a sticker. <laughs> Apparently, I've had these for forever, and I'm then slowly using them. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna put those in a bigger container, and I'm gonna hide them because this is gonna be like a surprise. Um. And then. Okay, so I ended up cutting my hair a little bit shorter um, than the last clip. I forgot to turn this off. Um, so I guess I should turn it around actually. Wait, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say, oh, that I did end up washing the bathroom, but it was just like a light, light cleaning. I didn't do the shower. Um, So anyway, today I'm going to make Milanesa, but um, I didn't realize that we were already down to here of panko, so I don't know if I'll have enough. So I have the ingredients ready, flour, eggs, and panko. Um, and then the one that I bought this time had some pieces that looked like a different cut, so I cut those out. So I'm going to do the first ones. Flour, egg, then pink, then fry, and then you bake for half an hour. Okay, so that's done. I have to bake it for 30 minutes at 350. Um, this is the mess plus some more mess. I feel like maybe I should have just done this with the flour, but I'm just going to cook it in here. And I'll figure out 
I'm trying to tell you. I think the pen is still like not that hot. Anyway, okay. That took forever. But anyway, that's done. And this is done. Kind of burnt them a little bit, but it's fine. And then I'm still waiting for the rice. I washed most of the dishes, left some. There's still these two. I'm too tired to deal with shit. Usually I just cook one thing, but it's like that's really time consuming. And then the two sides, I mean, not those two, but those two sides, like you kind of need them. We're gonna keep it short. So, have been decluttering um, stuff around the house here and there. This was kind of like an actual bigger project. Um, so, or like it was just messier because yesterday I was just walking around the house and being like, oh, what else? Um, so, yeah, I'll show that box. Um, the donation box is growing and I need to organize it mostly because I don't want the um, breakables to break um, but anyway here I've been organizing most of like the pain stuff Fine. Um, I ended up putting all of the liquid stuff in this box and some little things and then all the braces in here um, and then these are kind of just stacked I ended up putting this in here, uh, we'll see if I end up leaving it there. And then, yeah, I kind of just had to shift things around for things to fit, and for this to still be able to open. Um, but, anyway. So that's it, I'm going to put this back, and I'm going to eat. I guess I might not be able to do my socks today, because it's starting. It's starting, so, um, I mean, the pain is. Um, so... Yeah, all right, wait. So I had recently reorganized this. I didn't record it, but um, I'm gonna redo it because it's still kind of hard to get to things. And so, so I have this container with the cleaning supplies, but it just isn't working. And in the back I have extras. Up here I had some of the extras, but only like one of each. <laughs> Hello? Um, anyway, and then here we have like the smaller extras. And those are individual bags of extras. And then traveling stuff pads and then stuff that I haven't dealt with and I got these from Amazon today so I'm gonna see if it works one of them is like a little bit smaller than the other one and yeah I measured but I don't, I don't know All right. I'm just gonna do this off camera and I'll show you what I end up with ¿Qué pasó? The top shelves ended up being too short to put much up here, um, but I did like how I contained the extra shampoos and conditioners and the cleaning supplies. And now I can actually get to the bottom stuff because there's no nothing at the front. But yeah, these didn't fit up here very well either. But. I do like how it turned out. I'm a bit disappointed, yes, but um, it's better. Okay, so apparently I'm in a cleaning mood. I just got this in the mail. So I'm gonna remove the fur, then I'm gonna vacuum. Have never vacuumed my couches before. And then I'm gonna use the spot removers. We have two cats. So we'll see how much dirt we can get. I mean, it's not just them, but you know. And I'm not going to record the progress because um, it's going to be easier to edit the other way around. So, okay, bye. Alright, phase one complete. It's actually pretty small. This is from the couch. This is from the cat tree. Um, so I guess we're not doing too bad. So I tried vacuuming. It was kind of too hard. So I really just vacuumed between here, but it was still like... I don't think it even got anything. And I did the liquid thing. I got some dirt off. But then um, that's it. Alright, bye. Hello? 
Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See. I was like, I'm pretty sure. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna make it here. <laughs> <laughs> he's the pure. <laughs> no.